Yes. Good afternoon, Cape Breton. It's Pam and Marie again, and it's March 6th, and we are going to see the Glace Bay Food Bank. We were started in 1987 when we moved in here. Is that right? There was no food bank in Glace Bay before that? Oh, yeah, we, we started in. Um, uh, 1984. Okay. We were the first. Oh, on the island? Well, yeah. Or just in Glace Bay? Yeah, no, pretty much around. Yeah. Most fishes coming on the mm -hmm. We're the busiest, yeah. yeah. We're open five days a week where some of them are just open a few hours yeah. a day. Yeah. Yeah. And do you serve them with the elderly? Yeah. Or is there Both. Specific combination of everybody, all anybody, everybody. All yeah. ages. Yeah, all ages. Yeah. 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 So this is our, you know, this is where we were the first uh, 10 oh. or so years, just in the basement until we took over the building. We moved upstairs to the kitchen and everything. We did everything here. Orders and um, and meals. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we're, um, we had the Kellogg cereal, so we're just, that's the last. We're just wait, expecting that coming in maybe the end of uh, end of this month to get a shipment, yeah. and we distribute it to North Sydney, Sydney Lines, all of yeah. Sydney, Waterford, right. Lewisburg, everybody. So you're supplied with the majority of it, and then donations. <laughs> yeah, are and, and, extra. and donations. Are extra. Oh, okay. Well, with that, that's a big special. Right. That Kellogg's is a special thing yeah. that happened in the last. Are there tougher months? Oh yeah. Shorter, like right after Christmas. Right after Christmas, after Christmas and through you know March is when we used to always have our low point because yeah. you've been so busy through the winter and everything. Exactly. And everything's going on. And Christmas is and Christmas expensive. Is expensive and yeah. Everything. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, we don't have you know any. We're not fun. We have we have a small brand. Yes, you're not profitable. We're not profitable. So that's right. It's yeah. donations and yeah. fundraising and all that kind but of stuff. Oh yeah. my heavens, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. busy. Yeah. We've, we've always been busy. We've been well, busy since 1984 when we first opened the doors when the mines went down. Oh, and the number one, oh. what clients you have? Oh, Rufus has it. Oh, yeah? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. But if okay. you mind, I'll give you a tour. Sure. This is one of our, Marvin, one of our volunteers. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Hi, have all the groceries. Mm -hmm. You know, we set up we dry goods. Yeah. All our dry goods in is our furnace room, but there's uh, Ooh, extra specials are in the back. You know, anything we buy is in the back. We put it in right. there. Right. And, uh, yeah. You could definitely okay, use so some uh, donations. Jesus, oh, yeah. I think, well, and, this mm -hmm. is so we were so busy. Eh? They're, they're just picking up more stuff Like you now, said, this yeah. is uh, probably the time of year you need it the most. Yeah. Right. This is always in, yeah. in March. But you know what? In all of them, um, this is like That's our 36th year. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that. Um, and we've never um, uh, not been able to give out groceries. That's wonderful. Um, you know, That's wonderful. I, I remember times so when... community. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. the community. It'll come in. This is just because... And um, they, they've packed to the 40 or 50 orders. Boxes are all packed and ready to go. Uh, yeah, so all they have to do in the morning is they have 20 orders. They just put them... On the floor, they pick up bread yeah. first thing in the morning from Sobeys, mm -hmm. then they're at Superstore, you know. Okay, so, so they both contribute. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Sobeys and Superstore. Sobeys and Foodland, oh. yeah. That's, yeah, that's good. Nice. That's yeah. good to hear. Oh, yeah. I like hearing yeah. that, yes. And, um, yeah. it's, it's very needed, I know. Um, oh, my heavens, yeah. I mean, we've been dealing with child poverty since, oh, you know. I know. To since, over 30 since, years, since you oh, say. Yeah. yeah, since the mining days. Yeah, since the mining days. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that was one of the reasons yeah. why they had the, when 26 went down, and, yes. and then the fish plant, and then you lost the steel plant, and, right. you know, so right. it, this yeah. is nothing new to and us. Well, it may be new to other people, but it's it's yeah. not new to us. Well, well it, we right. have no industry left, and then um, most of our population is elderly now. That's right. That's and their pensions thing. are not keeping up with the cost no. of living. No, the cost of no they're not. Well, that's right. You know, affordable housing is another big issue, you know, that yes, we find is. that people can't, it is. can't afford to get a housing. The rents are getting higher, but nobody's income. But nobody's income is increasing, you know. So that's, it's, right. Uh, that's right. It's, um, so for the people who are on the board, uh, possibly like to donate, uh, how can they go about that? Oh, they can just come in. With food? With or food. Uh, monetary, they can, um, you know, do online. Mm -hmm. Or, okay. um, you know, mail. Yes. Just, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. E-transfers, all that kind of stuff. That's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. 
people so have, Cape have Breton, been, then you can open your hearts and yeah. you don't have to live here. Anybody out in Alberta oh, would like to send yeah, some yeah. money. We have a lot that of would be a great of, idea. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Out we have them everywhere. We can <laughs> from all over the world, actually. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. a lot of people from here, they can yeah. have yeah. elsewhere and they can and, still continue. And you know what? We, like, um, yeah. we have a lot of uh, uh, people that um, were uh, uh, grown up as kids and have used the food bank with their parents, you know, who now are... You know, out there and jobs and everything else, and um, they send us lots of cards and that's donations. Right. To, you know, that that's Tuesday that's and nice. things like that. You know, yeah. in memory of my mother or that kind of thing. Yes, so, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, that's 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 really good. <laughs> and that's our, this was our kitchen. What what we um, when we first started it. Mm-hmm. And uh, we used to make the meals here in the morning, and, and then we in there. and then we do the. Um, Oh, and then kitchen, we did the yeah. orders in the afternoon. Yeah. Oh. We bought the building and, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So now okay, everything's... so everything's prepped down. Yeah. So okay. now. This is more for staff, is it? This, this is, this now, yes, yeah, for okay. staff. And, and, and for packaging. There. And yeah. and then they use it for canning and everything in the summertime oh, when we have the garden out the back. Um, Good. Our garden coordinator cans the jars. all the jars. So she does all pickles and jams and things like that. Ooh. And she teaches classes to yes. kids. If, uh, she must have a garden. Yeah, we have our big garden at the back. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. beautiful. I'm so glad. So that's uh, really um, mm-hmm. a positive thing, you know, and that's, yeah. um, and she has... Does the community help grow? Well, the yeah, they do. They, they, they donate different kinds of things to that, you know, mm-hmm. soils and things like They're that. And we usually go for and work through and, the garden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, she gets a lot of, uh, and a lot of older people that go out there and help uh, plant and, and kids and everything, too. And this is That's Ruth, wonderful. by the way. Hello. Where I'm getting an interview. I'm going to finally eat. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. Ruth is our, uh, Ruth, our, intake, Ruth. our intake worker down here, and she looks after the clients coming in and, um, okay. and sees to the boxes and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. How many clients do you think we have now, Ruth? Um, officially on file, we have 811. I counted the number. But there are maybe a hundred or so that we could take off because they haven't come in a long time. Right. And maybe another hundred that might come once or twice a year at Christmas time or something. Right. So there's 600 really active and 400 almost every week or every, every month. Imagine. Okay. We're wow. averaging every month 300 orders. Yes. We well, were just saying uh, the pensions aren't keeping up with the cost of living. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately here we're taking in 10 to 12 every month and they're not leaving the system um, the other way either going out and getting jobs or having say passing away right, right. Passes, gosh we're taking in um, new ones you know we're doing at least 10 12 new people and we've been doing that for close to two years wow and how can you so the students there as well uh, some of the students are uh, in need absolutely we're um, getting a lot of students yeah. that's part of the 10 to 12 maybe half of those yes yes yeah, yeah. well a great number. And this is why this organization is needed, yes, yes and so many others too. Oh, yeah. And it's only because we have so many um, donations coming in and so many good churches and organizations yeah, yes. and monetary donations that we can do it. Because how can you, think about it, how can you take 10, 10 in January, then there's always yeah. 10 and another 10 in yeah. February. How can you do that yes. all the way along and keep going? No, that's yeah. right. Can't. That's right. Only for the generosity yeah. of people. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And not not just at Christmas. Not just no, at Christmas. All, right. all year. All year yes. long. They yeah. support us all year yeah. long. We need yeah. to eat. <laughs> That's right. At Christmas time, we did four hundred and twelve orders mm-hmm. in thirteen days. Wow. wow. That's incredible. Days. And, and I think normally we we do three oh five, three ten in a month. Yeah. yeah. Last month was down for a little bit. We were only two eighty something. Last that was the drop for some reason. I well, but, I think there might have been a poverty closed. check or there was something. Was was something that out, mm-hmm. we were closed. It was storming a lot of. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that could have been that too. Storms, that's right. Yeah. 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 So that's the first time in months and months and months that it went under the three months. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a great, well, great bunch of volunteers oh, that come in, I mean, and I mean, our boys, come in every day boys here grow rotated. up here. They, yeah. they come yeah. five days a week. This one that comes three days a week, one that comes two days a week. Some just pop in when they got free time, but I always know I got somebody for a, a real community. That is effort. good. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's nice great. to hear. Yeah. That's yeah. lovely. The volunteers. Yeah. She just retired maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Yes. Um, she is the heart and soul of the food bank. 
<laughs> the reason the food bank is like this is mm -hmm. because of her. Mm -hmm. um, I might run on volunteers and we might need the volunteers, but she's the one that kept it going before that. <laughs> and I'm, my saying is, if you cut the wall, yes. it's going to bleed Sandra's blood. Oh. <laughs> Sandra, put, that's uh, nice, to hear, that's it? nice to hear. That's nice to hear. I said that to more people than that because she has put her whole heart and soul and blood into this. Oh. And you would. that would come out of the wall. Oh. I'm that's telling that's you. What a compliment. I, I, yeah. I wouldn't be here. Yes. And I wouldn't have stayed yeah. as long yeah. if it wasn't for Sandra. Well, I can see your heart and soul yeah. is in it as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's addictive, let me tell you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Doing good for others is oh, addictive, I like, find. I just saw a girl that I hadn't seen since, <clears throat> I don't know, two or three years this morning, you know, and it was yeah. hugs. And I was thinking about you, she said, and she gave me a big yeah. hug and everything, you know. It she said, my, my, my little boy was only like 12 and he's 27 now, you know. Yeah. That's and, okay. um, you know. Time flies too, yeah. doesn't it, yeah. when you're and doing good work? I remember that. I remember yeah. her little boy. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. you know, this is, that's well, the, community the part of, of it. Well, it becomes a sense of family. Yeah. It well, does. does. It is. We are their family, you know. They yes. For, they bring to me paperwork. Um, yeah. Some of them are illiterate. They can't. Yeah. They don't know, especially one of our volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, they don't know what this uh, came from the government. They don't know what this paper right. means. They don't know the money come in. So they'll bring in the papers yeah. and read this paper. Can't read. Tell me what to do. Yeah. Do yeah. their income tax. She's done income tax. I've done income tax. Yes. Just sometimes they want to clean, close the door. And they just them. talk. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's what they, they need, need, guys. And they need yeah. guidance, yeah. yeah. When they That's... close the door, it's one or two things. They want to tell you something good or they're going to tell me you something bad. Yes. 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 So you don't know what you... So you're a counselor yes. in between. Yeah, you're a yeah. Yes. You're, you're a, a fight <laughs> break. You have to break up Wait. fights yeah. sometimes. We always say that. We should have, should have uh, put, <laughs> one fight. put our uh, degree on the door, yeah. eh? Yes. You know? Yeah. It's, it's it's really true, but I I mean it's coming from your heart more oh, than it from is. Yeah. it's not a job. It's, it's actually not a job. no, coming and I think you. I think that um, people are so people. yeah, Thank and they're you. so comfortable with us because they're not going into like you know suit and tie or whatever right. yeah. or a business office and and talking right. to a professional and thinking okay you know that stuff can be intimidating yeah and it's intimidating it but well, in here they can they can pour their heart out and you know and they know people will understand and, and we won't uh, judge you or anything like that you know to so, come for a new order yeah, when I yeah, get the new client, right? I can tell the ones on the phone that are hesitant they don't want to come they don't yeah I always book new people um mm -hmm. In the afternoon, 12.30 to 1 o'clock, I never let them come in in the morning because yes. it's like a zoo here. It's yes. busy and there's all kinds of people. So I want to take them in the mm -hmm. afternoon when yeah. it's nice and quiet. Nothing. Not so they can come into the office yeah. without having the fear of everybody around. Yes. That's, that's very that's respectful of you. Of them so thank so me, more, they can have a one-on-one um, -on -one for doing that. As well. yeah. So that there's not, they're not bumping into a bunch of people. Oh, okay. They just want to come in, get the file done, get their order, get it with a team. Oh, yes, they're know. very embarrassed yeah, over this. Very prideful people on this island people don't, don't realize know. that I said, you don't know how much no. it took to come in here i said i don't know, <coughs> I don't know how hard it hurts me no. to make that we need stop. to remind everyone that we're all capable of falling oh, on hard uh, times <laughs> everyone's capable yeah. of falling on hard times yes that two paychecks yeah. away is very true yeah. if you got a good landlord you might make three paychecks yeah but most of them two paychecks you don't pay your rent in two months you're out Yes. You know, yeah. so you are two paychecks away from being homeless. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And a lot of seniors, even seniors, you monthly know, income, once monthly a month, income, yeah. you know, they might make, might be able to scrape three by, yeah. depending on how good their landlord is. Yeah. But you're two paychecks away from being yeah. homeless. We all are. Yeah. It's but sad, it's organizations it's like this that really um, speak to the Cape Breton uh, community minded people, it's empathy for the people. We've um, suffered poverty for a long, long time here in Cape Breton. And these are one of the friendly people that <laughs> help the community. Yes. I love so the politicians. Want, would you like to keep following Sandra for the tour then? Yeah, yeah. okay. I love the politicians that run on the fact um, that okay. they're going to eliminate <laughs> child poverty. Yes. Right? They, they're running oh. their platform on that. Yes. How they're not. There's no way they're going to eliminate unless they fix the, the social assistance yes. system. And, the, you yeah. know, they're not. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Or, or it's visit, all just or words, visit right? The food bank. Or visit the food bank. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. true? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe help, they should come on and hear once in a while. Yeah. And helping yeah. each other. That okay. Is. I like you. Oh, I Thank you, here. Ruth. Yeah. Isn't that something? Well, so this was where it began. 1984, is that right? 
1984. This was the very beginning of it. Yeah. This one little room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, is there any more of the building that you um, would like to show? This is pretty much it. Those are orders that are ready for. Uh, they're all filled. Those are right. empty boxes. These are ones okay, the ones in the back here. Yeah. yeah. These are all ready to ready go. To go. So when Monday, right. they just so they keep right 50 on hand. hand. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, um, yes. That's it up yesterday. Oh, okay. And that's just where we keep all the toiletries and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. You know. Okay. We drop, up, we drop um, shampoos and all that kind of right. stuff. Right. Which, yeah, uh, as well as food, people yeah. run out of those necessities. Oh, yeah. that's right, yes. Yeah. And out of respect, we're not going to continue on upstairs where the clients are enjoying nope. their time. Uh, okay. Um, because of privacy issues. And yep, not absolutely. Everybody likes to be on camera. So this is Cape Breton Live TV thanking Sandy and Ruth for showing us around the Glace Bay Food Bank. Okay. Thanks, Sandy, for uh, having us today. Sandra, right? Sandra. Yeah. Sandra. 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 I'm I, sorry. I go by Sandra. He doesn't. Sandy, <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> Marie, <laughs> Maria, whatever. I, I left Michelle up there and, uh, and came uh, down here to Yeah. Uh, she should have been doing the interview. She's new. So well, we'll, we'll go up and speak with Michelle, too. And this is Michelle. She works in the office here. <laughs> and uh, Michelle, what do you do for the Glace Bay Food Bank? I am the coordinator of the building. So mm -hmm. I write the grants. I take care of the day-to-day -day basis. I answer questions. I answer the phone. Mm -hmm. I do interviews. Yes. <laughs> Anything that has to do with the building being run, that's right. this little right. office. <laughs> yes, there's a lot more than just um, the don dealing with the donations and uh Handing them out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm in so the is your phone writing. busy? Um, today it's no been kind of quiet. With the people looking for the food bank, or it, yeah, that's nine times out of ten. If the phone rings, mm -hmm. it is somebody looking to come in and book right. an order. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's not. Um. It's it, yesterday the phone didn't stop. Right. Today it's kind of quiet, but that's all right because right. it's the end of the week. Right. Everybody's right. booked already. Yes. <laughs> and yes. And if the phone does ring, it's for. Next week, sometime. Right. So yeah, right. and like right now, I'm in the middle of writing two grants. So mm -hmm. busy, busy. And it's not just individual people; it's families as well. All families. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, no age range. There is no age range. No. That's because yeah. the, some people they're like, "Well, who comes to your food bank more?" And I'm like, "No, there's not a certain." There's age. not. Yeah. I said yeah. I could sit there all day and tell you stats. <laughs> yes, it's, it's just a, needed. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And if we weren't here, what would they do? That's right. That's yeah. right. A lot of uh, people um, living on low income and cost of living is just getting too high. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're choosing. Yeah. Well, do I yes, pay my oil? Or... Us that, uh, there's yeah. uh, a lot more lately. Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah. Well, the rise in even food, food went up. Rise in population, too. Yeah. Population, food, sure. uh, you name it, everything's gone up. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the money didn't. Yes. Right. Yes. The money goes down. Nobody's in. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about uh, um, the Glace Bay? How long has this um, location been here? In this building? I think they got in this building in 86. 86. And, yes. Yes. So almost, we well, get coming up to 40 years almost, yeah. you know, 37. Yeah. 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 They started out as a little tiny thing, and then even this building, she was only in the basement. Yes. Until the yeah, the when we were with Sandra, she yeah. was showing us that's where it all began, it right? It all began downstairs. Yes. And, and the need is more so now than when it started. It, I would say it's well, it's getting bigger by the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Like yeah. at the beginning of September, we were getting like eighty some people for meals. Yes. So now, kind of calmed down a little bit again. Now we're back into the forty fifty mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people per day. Yes. But then, like next week, something could happen and it'd spike back up again to right. like another. 80 people a day. Yeah. So we, yeah. Don't, we don't know how many to cook for per day. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. And these are the harder months right after Christmas, oh, too. Oh, yeah. 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 And, yeah. and you do see an increase. You see more of an increase in the food hampers mm -hmm. than, than I do people walking in off the street. Right. Yeah. But right. even, like, the schools and stuff like that, like, I, I'm, I'm in contact with the schools constantly. Mm -hmm. And um, for Glace Bay High, I was talking to her not that long ago. 
And usually we give them cereal for the breakfast program. Right. But now I'm trying to give them snacks and stuff for a lunch program. Oh, yeah. Because the same kids okay. that don't have breakfast are don't the same kids that don't have well. lunch. Yes. Well, and then it makes you yeah. wonder, do they have something when they go home? When they get home. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And we all need to eat. I mean, it, it's a, that's a proven fact as well. Their minds, Our minds don't work as well without food well, yeah. in, in our system. And we're tired and luggish without yeah. it. And, you know. Definite need. It's definitely needed in this community. Mm -hmm. Hi, Melissa. Hi. This is Melissa, and we're still at the Glace Bay Food Bank, and she is an artist. She has decorated this place in a beautiful way, and Maria is going to scan the camera and show her artwork. I didn't mean so. When did you start drawing, Melissa? Oh, um, I started drawing when I was little, but I started like I was into art also. School. Yes. Um, I took all extra art in high school. I went to art design and a tech. And mm -hmm. NSCC. Oh, yes. Um, I've been painting on Windows Wall since 2002. Right. Um, on Facebook as most of the creations. I volunteer here. Right. They used to help me here and they just. Yes, kind of, so you're giving back. It's like a family yeah. here, actually. Uh, yeah. We're getting that. It's a real community atmosphere. Yeah. It is. Yes. We're tired. Like, we do craft, like craft days. We're doing March break things all through March break in the afternoon. Is that right? From 12 till 2 oh, for the right. public. And are you teaching your art? Um, we're doing, um, I did teach a class here for seniors to paint. Come on. Yeah. yeah. And we're just doing a free crawl craft thing, but uh, it just, like, it depends on how many kids I'll do a little teaching. Right. right. That's a great idea. Oh, that sounds like And for yeah. March yeah. break? Really oh. And here's, oh, and then there's another painting over here. Let's come look at this one here. Yeah. I do yeah. birthday parties yeah. as well. Yes. And yeah. some fundraisers with my art. Oh, do this you? is great, yeah. Melissa. That is great. Difference. <laughs> and can people actually message you online and on your Facebook? They to can. ask for artwork. Yeah, that would be and nice. Yeah. Yeah. Say again so what it is. Melissa's Creations with a Z instead of an S at the end. Okay. Yes. That's wonderful, Melissa. Make a difference. And you certainly are. That's a good omen <laughs> right there with the butterfly and spring is coming. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. One little guy. He only has two people living in the house with him. But he comes in by himself all the time, doesn't take an order, just wants a few things. Mm -hmm. When he has his exams, he needed snacks, candy and snacks and that to get him through for the exams. Um, when he passed his exams the first place, he came and stand to me in the office to tell me what his marks were. Um, and then he passed and then he did one for one of the marks. He didn't have anybody else to tell. I am so, so glad to hear that. Me and and Ruth, you should be so and proud of yourself. Yes. Come in and told me his mark. So this morning he came in. He said, you close the door, can you close the door? Showed me his hand, he fell on the ice, a big cut on the ice. Oh. The only place he could think to come was down to me to wash his hand. And put so I got him in the bathroom, washed his hand, got the pad, put the pad on, put the band aid on, told him what to do when he went home. He said, Thank you, thank you. He gave me a big hug. I didn't know where it was. Do you know that's that's yeah. what it came with the marks from school? Oh my gosh! Came with the band -aid. And he man, really yeah, misses yeah, his yeah, family, Ruth. Yeah. Without you guys, yeah, where would he, he be yeah, going? He doesn't right? take a whole order. He just takes certain things that he likes and yeah. snacks for when he got, but came in with the exam mark. He <laughs> wanted to let me know that he passed yeah. his exam. Those snacks help get him fresh through. Fresh yeah. fresh and came in and, and showed me the hand. He said, "Look," he said, "Just still." Well, it shows the level of compassion. So yes. Yeah. Feel welcome right. to come. Yeah. The human spirit, That's what right? That's about. Yeah. yeah. So and when going. you get somebody like that, yeah. that trusts you enough to come in. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. very, it's very heartwarming to hear that. You know where compassion is. Yeah. I got no oh, this family one, right here. This one, when she was, little, she was almost a little girl, came in with her first two little kids. Yeah. <laughs> and it would come to me and give me hugs. I remember her. Yes. Real sense of family. Yeah, yeah. family. Yes. Yeah. Really she, was like, she was like mine then. I used to say, oh, no, I'm like, take that one home. Bring it home. They don't make you wear them that now. Yeah. There you go. Now, yes. and that's a great little guy. Yeah. 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 Little Miller's. Yeah. Oh, second family. Yeah. I, had, I had to tell yeah. something. Oh, that was nice. I'm mean, glad you told me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. You're not just passing out food. No, no, no. no you're here for the whole community. We're a whole that uh, here. We're a whole um, organization. I told him what to do when he gets because quite little part, I said, "Do you got any alcohol? This is fun. If you got any alcohol at home, yes. um, wipe it off, clean it off, and then put it on the head." Yes. And he talked to me and said. 
There's only one in my house, he said, that might have alcohol. So we, yeah. we, we're not sure what he drinks, but then we'll <laughs> We appreciate everybody's time here today, Michelle and Sandra and Ruth, for showing us around, and Melissa, the artist. <laughs> and uh, that's another show for Cape Breton Live TV. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk again. Bye, guys.